boys. Boys, it's time for the final one. The last of it. Part six. The veggies. The vegetals. The the highlight. The number one. The most important episode of all of them. Saving the best for last. The veggies. I don't actually know if this is going to be the best, but I'm hopeful. I'm really hopeful. Um, Alright, we're starting We're starting in the kitchen. Very fitting. I'm used to living an ordinary life, spending nights staring at my feeds. Memes and cats are fine and all, but they won't fulfill my needs. Oh no, it rhymes. I urgently try to find a job before my hunger could kill. Good jobs are always available to those with indispensable skill. Here's one, for instance, tech support. High IT skills are required. Quickly sent them my resume, and I was immediately hired. Got an office? Alright, let's go. So here I am in an HR office, lost deep in thought while drinking tea. HRs are usually staffed by veggies. The office turnip interviews me. It literally means a turnip. Alright. Literally a turnip. Where do you see yourself in five years? What salary are you aiming for? Think carefully about what you say. We see enough bums who come through the door. Well, there's not much to it. I'm an office monkey, clear as day. I just need some extra money. That's really all I can say. I'll agree to any terms. I'll even work for food. The future can be clearly seen. I know my skills will raise your mood. I'm awesome and creative. Your success? I am the key. I'm healthy, smart, agile, and attractive. That's all all that's left to hire me. To work for food, you say? Sign those papers. I really like your tone. You're now part of a big team, although you'll mostly be working alone. That's it. I found a job. A crappy one, and low paid too. So, now I'm one of the IT techs, but what am I going to do? IT stuff. They kindly show me to, to my new place. It looked like an underground storage cave. I quickly made myself some lunch. Thank God there was a microwave. That is, that is an old ass Windows operating system back there, bro. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> then there's Spud, the exec secretary. Now I feel out of place, but even if this place is a garden, it's nothing that I can't face. What are we? What are we in this story? That, that, that's my question. I just noticed a little bit of my screen was cut off. Uh, my apologies. It didn't really change anything, but it looks a little bit nicer now. Alright, anyways. But what if there are veggies around? No big deal. I can even bring some spice. At least there are no snakes around, and turnip lady seemed really nice. I couldn't tell if that was a lady or not. It's not like I'll be working hard, and Miss Turnip is a cutie. If I'm lucky, I might get promoted if I hit on that beauty. Oh, oh. <laughs> alright. Playing the system, my man. It's a plan, but I'm getting too far ahead. Let's start with the parking spot. Take a sip of coffee, reflecting upon what a big brain I've got. To use or to be used is cheap labor. That's the question I face. To them, I'm a nobody. To do as I'm told, or be replaced. It's so weird. It's, it feels weird rhyming, dude. It feels like... It feels weird. I, I don't know how to describe it. I quickly finished my work for the day. And then there's hardly a reason to stay. So I remotely viewed HR's laptop. Miss Turnip's playing solitaire. Here comes a great chance for us to talk. I gave my PC a mindful stare. Instantly putting my skills to use, I made her laptop freeze. I got a call through straight away. Come make this thing work. Please. I waited for a few more moments to make it look like I was a busy bee, then I responded, on my way. <laughs> this is exciting me. Oh my god. <laughs> I killed the process that I implemented and ran a pointless test. I smiled at Turnip and said to her, the problem solved, aren't I the best? Don't you feel bored sitting here all day? Is this office your own? If I were you, I'd dr it would drive me mad. I couldn't stand it all alone. It's not so bad, I'm pretty used to it. It's really not such a bore. And when I'm free, I try to learn things, develop my skills, and even more. Yeah, yeah, I've seen your development. You couldn't win at solitaire. 
If you keep slacking, you might get fired. The management wouldn't care. Perhaps I'll blackmail her a little bit to get a parking space. Sometimes you have to take the risk, although it could blow up in my face. Alright, alright, this one's got some choices. I know you're a game addict for real. Keep me quiet, let's make a deal. You look like you could use some fun. Dude, let's just go for the direct approach. Let's be like flirty this time. So that we learn our lesson and then go the virgin route afterwards. To tell the truth, I haven't been to a restaurant for ages. It's really nice of you to ask me to dine. It's settled then. Let's go. Let's leave our cages. I wouldn't mind a glass of wine. Easy. Miss Turnip and I chatted the rest of the day, and I installed Spider and Minesweeper, but Zuma was the game she really liked. I think this girl might be a keeper. I don't know what Zuma is, actually. Then I realized how foolish I was. I clearly had no money left. I could never afford a restaurant. Being financially bereft. But Turnip realized our problem too. There were a few days before we got paid. Then she told me I should invite her to mine. I figured that I'd got it made. But Turnip realized our problem too. There were a few days before we got paid. She told me I should invite her to mine. I figured that I'd got it made. I didn't feel... Okay, apparently we're human. Apparently we're very much human here. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I'm sitting here reading this all seriously. <laughs> it literally just turned into a lot of fuck. Yeah, bro. Let's fucking do it. <laughs> <laughs> Once we <laughs> sorry, sorry. Let's go. Okay, okay. Once we arrived, things worked like a charm. Just one drink before an embrace. Somehow she could she cuddled up into my arms. I was about to reach second base. <laughs> Whispered to me to go ahead to rip the veils off her fine chest. What? A chest! There's no chest! She's an onion! Turn up! She's, she's, she's a vegetable! I was drunk with passion, granted her wish, and decided to do all the rest. The following morning I noticed a space with my name, so I drove my car straight into it, knowing that I'd won the game. After the, a chat with Miss Turnup, we both agreed that it was a fling. We stayed friends, we had a good time, and that was the important thing. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> after the way all those other novels went, I wasn't expecting this one to be the lewd one, dude. <laughs> Fucking A, man. And so I switched to Lady Onion. A better place to work, I wouldn't mind. Perhaps I'll get a better net connection if Lady Onion would be so kind. Success with Turnip raised my spirits. It seemed I hit the lucky chance. I spent some time on my daily routine. The game's afoot. Let's go. Advance my surprise before I knew it she called me herself by phone and it does she have hands as it turned out she crushed her PC and now the hard drive is blown not all that's about to be blown apparently she told me that her software kept crashing often and I had asked her to simply come out instead of a reply I was greeted with silence which left me confused and in doubt I see that she left her office not a program was it her or inadequate code I came across such people pretty often, they were the reason for my workload. I introduced myself and simply nodded, then typed some and remarked, alright. After a few moments her PC was clean and working, all files were stored every byte. I started making plans to hit on her, no point asking her out to dinner, there's not a single game on her desktop. It'll be tough to make this chase a winner. He was impatient, wanting me to leave. Edgily pacing and nervous. I knew it was nothing that I could do. Any chat here would serve no useful purpose. Back in my lair, I do my lair. <laughs> <laughs> the, the lair of like the, the fucking office's sexual predator. <laughs> oh my god. Back in my lair, I did some hard thinking, but nothing handy came to mind. 
I really thought my plan was foolproof. The former triumph had made me blind. And then I got another call. Things are still messed up. What a shame. Of course, it's hardly her fault. The PC and I are to blame. I rushed back to her office. Fair enough. I can relate. To not get left holding the bag. Uh, solving dummies problem is my fate. I, started, I stared long and hard at the PC screen, but saw the problem. And my face formed a grin. She was looking pretty anxious. But the lost files are simply in the recycling bin. Seriously, dude. So, uh, then again, that is like... If you've ever worked IT, you know that like most problems are actually just that simple to solve. You just go and you just like hit backspace or like refresh or you turn it off and back on and it just makes it work. That's so stupid. <laughs> but I got the feeling I'd soon lose my temper. How can people be so incurably daft? How did this onion get a senior position? It can't all be down to hard graft. I should calm down. That's my boss. But I was already so irked. There's no point in getting annoyed with some veg. So I fixed everything so it worked. And then again, another call, another fit. Ostensibly, it's still me who is bad. Apparently, I'm to blame. Oh God, this onion is driving me mad. I'm here again, trying to find the right words without swearing nor letting my anger win. Again, I looked. I look at Onion's computer. The budget estimate is still in the bin. Well, if we're supposed to butter up the onion before we throw it into the sauté of love, then. We're gonna have to be nice. I can't I can't call it a dickhead, I'm assuming. All of your PCs are obsolete. You need to budget for new. I can provide a short-term workaround, but I'd update them if I were you. I have a similar PC back in my office, and to be honest, when I see it, I fret. It could burn up at any moment, not to mention the turtle speed internet. And you, my lady, should relax a bit. Go grab a glass of wine or two. Put your hard work aside for a moment, and... You will find how trivial this is to you. Ooh, smooth. You know you're right. What's got it into me? I could use some calm and relaxation. <laughs> yeah, go figure, bro. <laughs> Regarding buying some new PCs, we have some budget allocation. You know. You know. Come here and have a seat. Let's have a glass of sweet wine. This life's gotten me jumpy lately. Let's throw out all of our worries. It's fine. Alright, I'm about to be drinking with this bitch just because all I did was fix her ring and say computers are stupid. <laughs> bro, bro. <laughs> Agreed. The matter isn't worth our distress. It's a pity no one understands. To make our lives a happy story, we have it within our own hands. Onion and I were drinking wine and realizing that life is good. We had some fun and we laughed and I wondered whether I could... Oh, oh th there we go. Alright, peeing little bitch. Bro. <laughs> We're cutting the shit out of these veggies, bro. I don't... Is that is that a thing for them? Like, cutting the shit out of them? I, I, I don't get it, dude. I just don't get it. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> a, few, a few moments later, it turned out I was squeezing onion in my arms. When did she get so close to me? Now it's just me and her sweet brother. This is like a weird fucking... This is like a fucked up fanfic, bro. <laughs> By taking off her layers, tears formed around my eyes. But both of us were up for it as her hands wandered up my... <laughs> she doesn't have hands! There's no hands there! How long, is, how long this intimacy lasted, I never really had a thought. Though, onion smelly as I was that day. I wonder how we weren't caught. There's cameras in there, I'm sure. Is that a microphone off to the side there, like right under my webcam? I'm not sure. Once early morning came the next day, I got a new office and PC. Even a fancy gaming chair and the fastest net speed I've ever seen. That's my new office? That's definitely a microphone then. Holy cow, bro. <laughs> and from a dinky little troll cave to this? And now Miss Onion, weirdly enough, stopped calling me for any trivial matter. Perhaps she learned a thing or two about the recycling bin lost files pattern. The moment I got used to my new office, my mind began to wander. The veggies are happy, work is easy, what else do I want? Should I ponder? Though to be honest, I must say, I wouldn't mind a little raise. Seemed like they can afford it, so I'll ask for one of, the, one of these days. All my days off, I spent considering how I could express a wage increase reason. 
as for excuses, there really were none. I just couldn't justify it this season. Just starts working there, plows literally everybody in the office, asks for a raise. Bro, Chad moves, bro. Chad fucking moves, bro. <laughs> I went to the boss's office real late. Receptionists run by Secretary Spud. His boss's loyal, trusty mate. If I can't get past her, this will be a dud. Ugh. You're too late. It's almost night. The chef's already departed. But can I help? Talk to me. You'll find I'm not cold-hearted. I'm not too sure where to begin. Let's have a little chat. How are you? What are you doing? Have you begun? Where have you? Be what have you begun working at? I made Miss Spud smile nicely. I wonder why she's here. She sighed and stretched alluringly, so that I couldn't help but leer. That our boss has left, weighed down today with a quandary unsolved. He needs a second in command, and we are all involved. But here's the catch: we get one vote, which to make our choice. But everyone will self-promote, not speak with a common voice. I mean. If, if we're playing like the um, if we're playing the ladies man around here, I'm gonna go with the bottom choice again, just because that's probably gonna that's probably gonna allow me to boil this spud and like mash her real good. So you're very thoughtful. I'm impressed. You swept away my blues, but there's a flaw in that idea. I'm not the one to choose. You see, I don't think I'm up for it. It's too much of it's too much of an ask. I wouldn't know where to begin with such a responsible task. To think you'd have such dignity, such a grace, I'm honestly amazed. The boss would find you a perfect fit once you've been appraised. Not really, I'm a realist. My level is right here. I know my strengths and weaknesses. I don't need a higher tier. Come hang with me, let's have a chat. I hear you're single. <laughs> yes! Why, yes I am. I have some wine and glasses here. What say we intermingle? Oh god, I know exactly where wine goes every single time, bro. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna peel the potato. <laughs> Got a bottle of fine wine from the closet. This is starting to feel like Groundhog's Day. Seems like this is a tradition here and a way to chase the stress away. There it is. It looks like a piece of bread. At least I'm not using a knife, I'm just straight up- Bro, I'm about to cut into the undies, bro, stop. Fuck. That's weird. And once again came deja vu. The wine made us relax. With Spud's soft charms within my arms, I set about her slacks. <laughs> what, a, what, a, what a colorful way to say we plowed. I peeled her body I peeled the body of her coverings. She moaned so much with passion, and then I saw it to the end again. I'm happy with the match, and oh no, I made the same joke as me! <laughs> I fucking hate my life. <laughs> a few days passed and I found out that I'd become VP, but I'd cast that deciding vote and she'd given it to me. Hey, it worked out in my favor. Let's go, boys. I went from office monkey to a big shot with a raise. I changed my ways inside and out and enjoyed respect and praise. There's nothing I can't do and life is easy. I realized that being a veggie is nice. I stopped evolving, there's no real reason. My life's already a paradise. I got a cushy job and everything is smooth. I'm doing nothing, that's my merit. Now I'm a big shot and there's a plate at my door. Chief Deputy Rad Carrot. My carrot with big human hands? Ending two, ending two, veg. I'm a big carrot with human hands, apparent. I'm a, I'm a, apparently I'm a carrot. Why was there no like, Carrot jokes, well, I mean... I guess being a carrot makes sense, considering I was, I was like... Penetrate... God. I hate myself. <laughs> I hate myself. Alright, let's, um, let's check out some of these other paths here real quick. I'm gonna see if there's any major differences. Uh, if it's mostly the same, I'll be skipping around and just reading the newer text, of course, as usual, but... If, if it's new, I'll make sure to highlight it. I know you're a game addict for real. Let's blackmail her. Let's blackmail her and make a deal. Oh, she's pissed. Turn up sweet cheeks went pale from fright, but then changed to a raging red. 
That's how my new job was quickly lost. It's too late to take back what I said. I've lost my job at just half a day. I can't believe I was so dumb. The door has been forever closed. There's no way back. Hard times are yet to come. Back with no job, nor any cash, as I feared all along. I'll have to start my new my life anew and prove all my doubters wrong. So I've got my act together and studied on the net. My mind and I will grow ever keener, and I took my biggest step yet. I started a business and hired some staff. I'm strict but fair and honest. Life is hard, but I guess I found that first success is always modest. But most important is not to quit. If you miss, then you keep on shooting. Stand tall, be brave, and take the risk. Your efforts will start fruiting. Ending one, human. Human? I'm not a carrot, I'm actually a human in this one, I guess? Huh. There's gotta be some sort of a euphemism there for, like, one side being, like, lazy and complacent and, like, doing nothing, doing per what is essentially nothing with your life and just becoming, like, a vegetable rotting away, laying in a bed and just, like, going through the motions. And then, I guess this ending is, like, doing something with your life and being more successful and being a human? Random guess. Alright. Alright, little onion. You dumb fuck. You little bitch. I fucking hate you, you dummy. Yeah, that's right. That's right, you're fucking stupid. I hate you. It wasn't long before the thunder struck, but I kept standing there as if there was something I could do. As silly as I was, there was no turning back. It was over, sad but true. Found out about sex I found out about sexual kinks and qualities of mine that I apparently had, but I knew all along how this would end, and fair enough, it was bad. She kept raiding, raising her infuriation to infuriated tone. With supersonic speed, I was kicked out the door. It almost made me deaf in both ears. I'd never heard such resentment before. Okay, it's just the human ending again. Look here, Miss Potato Bitch. I'm the fucking dude for the job here. You're gonna wanna hire me, all right? I'm awesome, and I wanna be able to sit around and do nothing with my entire life. Vote for you after just one week in the office? Your arrogance is shocking, honestly. Your experience makes you a novice. I suggest you don't come knocking. It seems my dumb speech offended Spud, and she cut short my soon-to-be career. You idiot, what have you done? She's made her feelings clear. I left her home, and in the morning, I was thrown out of my ear. Spud had relayed to the boss, who said, We don't want you here. Back with no job, nor any cash. Alright, this is just the same ending again. So, that was really short. That was the shortest one. That was super, super short. But, <laughs> bro, on one end, you have sex with a bunch of vegetables and become one. And uh, on the other hand, you just get to be human and be successful. I'm pretty sure ending one is the better ending there. Is it more the more work ending? Sure. But there's a couple of key things that we got to do that we didn't get to do in the other one. We got to keep our dignity. And most of all, we stayed a virgin, boys. Staying a virgin, what, even though it might may come with its hard knocks and its tough points in life, makes you better in the end. That's the lesson. That's the, we got another valuable lesson from that one. The last one had a lesson, this one had a lesson. But, safe to say, that's it for this. That's all the stories behind Love, Death, and Veggies. All six of them. Um... Final thoughts for the whole series would have to be probably that they were really good. The shorter ones that were a little bit more to the point, so the the, the elf girl, the the two in the space the two in the space station like planet, and the veggies, they they were definitely better, I think. Because they were a little bit more to the point. The other three were a bit long-winded at points, which made it kind of like um, not as interesting and made it a little bit too slow of a pace. Um Although, the one here, Nocturne, the endings were really crazy. Like, that one was probably the craziest one. Veggies definitely threw me for the biggest loop, and the rest of them were pretty par for the course. But, good. And, stay a virgin, boys.